Hello everyone, my name is Ahmed. In today's c -sharp lesson, we're going to talk about if and else arguments. Okay, let's begin. So, let's talk about if and else comment. So, what does if comments do? It's going to take an argument between its parentheses like this, then if the argument between those parentheses is correct, is true, it's going to execute the comment between its curl bracket. If it's not, it's not going to enter this if argument part and it's just going to move along the way, start executing from here. So I'm just going to write some examples here as a scenario. We're going to create a scenario and write some examples. Then we're going to see if it's going to execute or not. Let's begin. So this if comment is going to take an argument. And if that argument is true, like I said before, what does it going to do? It's going to execute the bit, execute the command between this curly brackets, right? So I'm just going to create a variable with bool data type, at least for now. I'm going to create bool data type. And I'm just going to say, is it male? And I'm just going to assign a variable, assign a value to that variable, true. So if I come here and write, is it male? What does it going to do? It's going to come and check the argument if it's true or not. It's going to come here. Oh, is it male? What does is it male's value is true? Okay, I'm going to execute the command between this curly bracket. So if I come here and write, you are a male here. And of course, I need to write console read line here and execute this command. As you can see, it says you're a male here. But if I change this value to false, what does it going to do? It's going to print out nothing. Why is that? Because of this argument here is false, not true now. I need to close this. Not true, but false. What is it going to do? It's going to avoid this if method here and continue executing with the console re line. So I'm just going to add another bool variable here. And just gonna say, are you an adult? Are you an adult? And I'm just gonna say true. Now I'm just gonna copy this if comment and write, are you an adult? If this argument is true, what is it going to do? It's going to say, you're an adult. And then I try to execute this comment. It's just going to print me. You are an adult string. Now, if I want to combine these two if values, if arguments, like you are a male and you are an adult, or you are not a male, but you are an adult like this. How can I do that? If I want to do that, first of all, actually, let me just do that. Let me just say, if you, let me just check if you are a male or a woman, right? How can I do that? I can do that with my else command, guys. What does else do? If I just come and write as here, this as is going to take the value of is it male's opposite. What I mean by that? If this is it male is false, this as is going to take true value, technically. But as you can see, I can't assign any arguments to this as else value. So if I want to write like this, is it going, it's going to give me an error, guys. Because as comment here, can't take any arguments. Only if can take arguments. So if is it male is false. Let us actually say if is it male is true. It's going to print out you're a male, but else so else takes the false value. So if you are not a male, it's going to print me out you are a woman. Let me just execute this command so you can see and understand better. Now, what is my is it male value? True. So it's going to check this argument. It's going to say, okay, this argument is true. I'm just going to execute here. But if this argument is false, what does else's value become? It becomes true. So it's going to execute the else part now. Let me execute the command. And as you can see, it's not executing the if parts, but it's executing the else part. Why is that? Because my is it male value is false. 
So my if argument is false, but because of my if argument is false, else argument, I mean the else value, becomes true. And the crucial point here, I can write if again with another argument or uh, or the same argument again and again like this. Let's just say you're a male again. Let's just change it to true. As you can see, I have two if arguments and I have two printed out values. But I can write any as value, any as command without its if. So if I want to write else without an if, it's going to give me an error. Why is that? Because it's missing if, it's missing its l if value, guys. I can't write else like this. It's not going to execute it. As you can see, I'm getting an error here. So let me just return this back. Okay. And now what I want to do, I want to check if you are a male and you are an adult or not. I want to check two arguments in one if. How can I do that? To do that, I have a special characters like these two, which means and, and these two, which means or guys. So let me just show you an example with these special characters. So I want to check if you are male and are you an adult or not with and so if I come here and write and let me just delete this else for a second and are you an adult or not it's going to check the is it male part first and it's gonna say is it male okay true and it's going to check are you an adult part and it's gonna say okay this it is true too then it's going to execute the command between those curly brackets but if this one, or if one of the arguments, let's say, is false, it's not going to execute this comment. Whether this one is true or not, it doesn't matter. If any of the argument with and, wrote with and, is false, it's not going to execute this if any more any more guys. So let me just change this to true again, and let's just say you're a male and you're an adult and execute my command as you can see you're a male and you're an adult but if I want to write this with an or or actually let's just check the false part first if I write false here it's not going to execute me anything it's the same with the male part if I write false and change this to true again it's not going to print me any values it's the same with to false it's not going to print me any values guys but if I want to write this with or, let's just change this to or, and change this to true, what's going to happen? If this is true, it's going to execute. Or, are you an adult part is true, it's going to execute. So, if any of the arguments written with or, and one of the arguments is true, it's going to execute this if part, guys. So, let's just say you are a male or you are an adult and when I try to execute this command even though my are an adult variable variables value is false it's still going to execute my command here now what I want to check I want to check all of the possibilities of this arguments so I'm gonna check you are a male and you are an adult or you are a male but you are not an adult or you are not a male but you are an adult and you are not a male and you are not an adult. I want to check those arguments. How can I check those arguments? I can easily write if, if, if every time and check all of the arguments, but I don't want to do that because that's bad coding. I need to write else if command, guys. Why is that? If I write else if command, I can, first of all, I can assign the argument here and it's going to check if it's male and are you an adult argument first so if this argument is wrong it's going to check here again and if this argument is wrong it's going to check here so let me just copy this and paste it what i want to write here i want to write you're a male and you're a woman you are not a male yeah so basically you're a woman and 
you are an adult. I want to write this. So what I need to do, I need to check the, this is a male value, right? So let me first change all of my values to true. So what I have now, I have is male true and Aryan adult true. So it's going to execute this command, right? But how am I going to execute this command? I need to change this to false and true, right? This is, let me just copy and paste this up here, true and true. And let me just copy this again. What am I going to have here? I need to have this false because I want to write you are a male and you are not an adult. So what is going to have? It's going to have true and false values. And I can just write as without an if here guys. Why? Because what does this as do? It's going to check if this is not true. This argument I'm talking about. If this argument is not true. And this one and this one. So basically all of the arguments above the as is wrong. It's going to execute here guys. So what is that the value this is going to have? It's going to have false and false values. So if I just come here and copy this, you are not a male and you are not an adult. Let's execute this by one by. So if I execute my comment with two true values, I'm gonna get you are a male and you are an adult. But when I try to change this value to false, what am I going to get? Am I going to get this or this else, guys? The real answer, the correct answer is this part guys. I'm going to get you are not a male and you are not an adult. And why is that? Because we are using and values. So I can do that with just changing this argument and changing the values true and false. I need to use something else to get these variables, get these console write commands as I want. So I'm going to write, I'm going to change first this to true and write exclamation mark guys so if i come here and put an exclamation mark what does this exclamation mark does to my variable here it will change its value to its opposite value so basically let's just change this to true if my is it male variable here has true value in it now this argument is false guys it will change this argument to false not directly this variable of course, not directly changing the variable of this value, but it will changing the argument here. So basically what, I, what do I have here now? I have a false value here and the true value here. Let's add the exclamation mark also here and execute my command. Now, if I want to execute my command, as you can see, I have two trues and what am I going to get? I'm going to get this if part, two truths. So you are a male and you are an adult. But let's just add exclamation mark. Let's just say opposite value. Okay, now let's just execute it again. Again, you are a male and you are an adult. Let's just change this to true to false. Now what am I going to get? I'm going to get this as if part, guys. So it's going to say you are not a male and you are an adult because we are changing this, changing this value to true now because my variable is false but I have an exclamation mark here so this argument part is true. So basically I'm getting this part. Again I want to change this back to true and let change this to false. Now I know what I'm going to get. I'm going to get this part. You are a male and you are not an adult and as you can see now i have you are a male and you are not an adult printed out here now if i change this to false now what am i going to get i'm going to get finally this else part guys let's just execute it and as you can see you are not a male and you are not an adult and as you can see we can use our if else if comments like this and how can we use it in a different way? If I just come here and write int num1, let's just say 
in num2 is 2 and let's just say int results and let's just say 3. Let me delete all of this and say if my num1 plus education with num2 so num1 plus num2 let's say num1 equals to my result so what I'm going to check I'm going to check these two I'm going to add two values together and check if these two values education equals to this result value and check the argument if it's true or not so 1 plus 2 is it equal to 3 yes so what's going to be the argument of this if comment is going to be true so what does it going to write your argument is true if it's not it just says well, whoops okay it's just going to say your argument is false i can also check mathematical operations in those if comments guys and with that we can end our if as arguments here thanks for watching for now and i'll see you guys on our next lessons goodbye